I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. The paint on them is set up. I had to leave a light on them overnight, but they hardened up and the paint's really good. Now I just have to clean up and polish the bars and the thumb screws. Once I get that done, I'll put some wax on everything, get it all put together, and I'll be done with these. Paint's dry. I gotta pull the pins. Those little skewers work pretty good. Still got some nickel plating on some of these screws. This bar, actually both of them are about the same. I think I'll just buff these up, see what happens. Well, they're shiny. I wouldn't say that they're polished, other than the high spots are shinier than what they were. But they look a lot nicer than what they started. Now I got the parts all cleaned up and the body's painted. I'll have to pull the tape off the bodies, but I'll wax these up and let them dry while I'm doing the prep on the bodies. I'm rather pleased with how the thumb screws turned out. The nickel plating just pretty much is gone. They're going to look a lot better with some wax on them and the rust gone. This one's still got a little bit of nickel plating on it. Now I'm waxing the screws too. Waxing the thread on them. They won't stick in the holes as bad. Now we just have to wait for the wax to dry, then we polish that up a bit, and we'll be good to go. This one somebody ground off the bar, and I don't know why, unless they had an exceptionally thin scraper blade in it at some time, and this wouldn't clamp down. It doesn't seem to affect how the scraper works. 
wax in the corners there. Now you'd think this bench would be about hip deep in wax. There's two different kinds of screws on these Stanley number 80s. There's this one that holds the bar on, and there's this one that actually tightens and bends the blade. This one's got a built-in washer on it, and this one doesn't. One without the washer goes right here. This one goes together exactly the same way. Except this one doesn't have the little ground away spots on it. I can tell that this was the outside part because that's where the washer dug into the plate. I'm going to flip it over so this side which is a little more presentable is on the outside. Now I have two completed Stanley number 80s. Painted, waxed, sharpened, cleaned up, ready to go. And at most I only need one. So something's going to have to happen to that second one. Because if you don't work, you don't eat. And having two of these guys, much as I'd like to think that I was capable of using one in each hand, I don't think that's really a practical method. But I got one idea that I think will make them a little bit better. But that's for tomorrow. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel. Just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.